Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Valorant screen tearing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. This will be also improving the performance on your other games that are installed on your Windows machine. Now there are 7 solutions that I am going to share with you. Apply them one by one and I'm pretty sure that this will be helping to fix the Valorant screen tearing issues. The first thing that you have to do is you need to adjust the display resolution and the refresh rate. On your Windows 11 or Windows 10 search box type resolution. From the suggestion choose change the resolution of the display. Now scroll down to the bottom and you will find an option advanced display setting. Click on it. And here at the bottom you will find the refresh rate. So make sure click on the drop down and just choose the last one whichever is the maximum you have to choose that so let's say i'm having the 60 hertz so i will go with 60 hertz and now above that you will find display adapter properties for display one click on it the properties will be coming up here you will see an option list all moods click on it and now you'll see all the available resolution in the list here and from here you have to choose the best resolution that is recommended which is 1920 by 180 but you will see couple of them so depending as i said the refresh rate we choose here was 60 hertz so we will go with 1920 by 180 60 hertz if you only get the option of 59 then you can go with the above option make sure that they both are the same you can try this okay once done click ok then ok again now you can minimize it uh you if you wish you can just make a restart and check that if this fix a problem and if not then we have six other solution that you need to apply now in the next solution you also need to try disabling the game mode and the full screen optimization of valorant game game mode is basically to improve the gaming performance but sometimes it may create a problem as well so on your windows 10 or windows 11 search box type game mode and then choose game mode setting from the suggestions now here you will be getting game mode it's right now it's been enabled click on the toggle to disable it once done close it now you have to look for your valorant icon on your desktop make a right click on it then choose properties click on the compatibility tab and here you'll find disable full screen optimization so once it's been unchecked it means the full screen optimization has been enabled so what you have to do you need to check the box and this will be disabling the full screen optimization now click on apply then click on ok now we also need to make some changes with the power settings so press windows and letter r key to bring up the run box type here power cfg dot cpl then click on ok and here you have to choose the best performance setting that you have like if it's been set to balanced or the power saver then you have to go with the high performance and in case if you are also available with the ultimate performance then you have to choose the ultimate performance okay so either high performance or ultimate performance whichever is available once done close it now in the next setting you also need to update your graphic driver make a right click on your windows icon and from the list choose device manager device manager will be up now you have to look for the display adapters and below that you will see your display graphic card make a right click on it and choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and if there are updates available it will automatically update it and if not then it will let you know that the graphic card is already updated so you also need to assure that the card is updated once done click on close and now we have to enable and turn on the vsync vsync will be basically improving the performance and this need to be enabled both from your graphic card settings and also from your valorant game now in case if you have the amd ryzen like me then make a right click on your desktop and choose amd radeon software now here from the top end menu option click on graphics and scroll down to the bottom here you will find wait for vertical refresh 
So right now I have made some changes and it's not displayed in my case. But if your end, if you get this option, then you have to click on the drop down and choose to enable or turn on. Okay, so you have to enable the, this wait for vertical refresh. And once it's been done, you can close it. Now, in case if you're using the NVIDIA or any other graphic card, then you can look uh, into Google that how you have to turn on the VSync on that uh, graphic card. It's easy. You can quickly do that. Okay, once you are done, then finally we have to apply some optimized Valorant settings. So open your Valorant game. On the right hand top, you will see the settings option. Click on the setting gear option. Then choose settings. Now, first you will come to the general section. Now, I have already made the optimized settings. You have to choose the same. You can take a screenshot. And then you can keep the same setting that I have right now. The re resolution I we kept for 60 hertz that was 1920 by 180. So this will be kept to this resolution. The monitor will be the same. Display mode will be full screen. And you can check all the settings. Limit FPS on batteries on battery will be off. Limit FPS in menus will be on. Limit FPS in background will be on. Limit FPS always will be disabled. You can take a screenshot now come to the graphic quality and now you have to keep these settings material quality to low texture to mid detail quality to low ui quality will be mid wignet and the vsync now we also need to enable the vsync from here so i will choose the on option from here the wignet will be off anti-aliasing you have to choose msaa2x and isotrophic filtering will be 4x and rest these are the settings that you need to apply to your Valorant game now once you are done with all these settings click on close settings now restart your PC I'm pretty sure that this will be helping you to fix the Valorant screen tearing issues on your PC and your laptop so if this worked for you guys do not forget to like and subscribe and even if you have any issues let me know in the comment section I will reply you back and I see you in the next video bye bye